Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. It is Easter Sunday. I am doing a quick video before Sarah and her friend come over. Sarah is actually coming back from a little weekend trip and she and her friend are going to be stopping by to pick up happy pants over here. Well, hello. Come here. You can come here. Luna has spent the long weekend with me and my cats are ready. The boys are ready for her to go home. No, we love you. And Sarah has to come pick her up and get her Easter basket. And so I did this fantastic thing. I was on the TikTok and I've been watching how folks have been like buying family size meals from restaurants and using them as meal prep for the week. Genius. So I've been going to city barbecue and doing that. So for today, excuse me, I picked up two pounds of smoked brisket with barbecue sauce. And then for Sarah and her friend, I got macaroni and cheese and then I'm making corn and rolls and then I have dessert and they'll have a quick dinner and then they'll go about their day because we all have to work tomorrow. Okay, I went to the Dollar Tree, but first I stopped at Dollar General. So you guys know for how long I've been obsessed with these drink mixes. Well, now TikTok is all about it, the water talk. And they're using these drink mixes and they're mixing them with the liquid flavors and I can't seem to find them. I have to go all hunt around. My stores have been sold out. I'm not mad, I'm just saying. So I went to the Dollar General. I got some strawberry lemonade to try. I have not tried their brand of that. I got grape. I love grape and cherry. I have not tried this lemon lime. So I grabbed two lemon limes, sun kissed. Now these do have aspartame in them, which some people don't like because it gives them a headache. I don't love it, but it doesn't affect me. So I'm okay. Currently I'm having coffee. It is a gorgeous day. If you can see the sun shining in and it is three o'clock. I got another ocean water. This is really good mixed with like coconut. And then to take to work, I got two Snapple teas. I like the peach tea, so I grabbed those. Uh, and they're actually cheaper at Dollar General, at Walmart, really anywhere but Dollar Tree. These waters are cheaper, so, you know. All right, I went to another Dollar, Dollar Tree Plus over on Georgesville Road. And as I suspected, for now, when new things are opening, they're all getting wiped clean. I mean, I, there was like nothing there. I'll show you the two things I got, but I did get a welcome sign. And what I'm gonna do, I have another Dollar Tree welcome sign and they're kind of lightweight, but the other one, I glued a piece of wood to the back to make it heavier. And I'm gonna sandwich this on the other side. So for summer, it'll say welcome. And when fall comes, I can turn it around and it will have beware on the back. They're the same size, so I can do that. And it just gives them a little more stability in the wind. But this one is cute. It is glittery because, well, duh, everything from the Dollar Tree has glitter on it. We know that. So I'm just moving that out the way. And then the other thing I picked up, if you guys know me, I'm obsessed with finding um, tripods that work with a cell phone because I need these things in my life, right? So this is an interesting one and it was only $5. So I'm like, girl, just try it because I need one oops, for my desk. So let's see. I think, I think, I don't know how this goes. Oh, well, um, uh oh, oh yeah. Okay. So I think you can, well, there's directions. There we go. So this comes on here and you have a caliper in the middle that tightens it. The base has some weight to it, which I like. This is for my desk upstairs. So if I do any videos in my craft room. So we have that, this tells us how high to go. This here is on a spring, so that helps. And then you can pop that in the back and then this screws on tight. This is pretty decent for $5, I'm not gonna lie. 
And then I'm just screwing this piece here. So it just all screws together. Yes, it's a $5 tripod, but quite frankly, it's better than the $5 tripod I got at the dollar spot at Target. And then you, this, which I love, is this can go up and down depending on how high you need it. And then you tighten it. Um, this is on a, on a ball and everything kind of just woozy woozies. So for me, it would go like right here. I think that's fantastic. And I think this has enough weight that it's not going to tip my phone over as long as you balance it. Yeah, $5 guys, if you see it and you do any kind of vlogging or like FaceTiming people or anything on your phone or heck, watch TV on your phone, like it can just sit on my desk eye level. That was worth the $5. Okay. Now we're just at regular Dollar Tree stuff. Didn't get a lot um, because, you know. Um, I did pick up some Gold Bond. I need to see if this is cruelty free. I'm really bad about checking before I remember to check. I feel like it is. I'll check. Anyway, I needed some moisturizer for my purse. And this is a good size. Great travel size too on that. Um, oh, I picked up the Starburst Pink. This is really good too. I just love them for summer. And I have some trips coming up. I think we've talked, oh, I got a lot more. Never mind, I have a ton more. We'll just show them all to you. Cause I don't really have a lot of anything else. Ooh, yes, okay. So I got Hawaiian Punch. Love that one. You gotta get them while you get them. Kiwi Strawberry. Haven't tried that. Uh, that brand. Uh, Nerds Cherry. If you mix a Nerds Cherry with a Jolly Rancher Green Apple, it tastes like a candy apple. I'm just gonna throw that out there. So I grabbed that one. Um, I grabbed a pineapple. I have coconut flavoring, so pineapple coconut, and then another grape. So I should be good. I take. I also share them at work. I take a bunch to work and have them in my drawer. And if any of my staff or coworkers want to have some, they can. They just come to my drawer and grab what they want. I don't care. Drink your water, people. So I don't have a lot of stuff, like I said, but I do have some trips coming up. So I bought a few things. I grabbed some ice cube trays for, um, well, originally I needed them because I like to buy bone broth and or chicken stock and things but i can't use the whole container before they go bad especially in the winter time if i ever like catch a stomach bug or oh i think i only i think i got two packages i only want meant to get one but if i get like a stomach bug or something or if i'm cooking you know sometimes i just like to drink bone broth and i love making it but i don't have the you know, like I'm not gonna eat it before I feel like it's gone bad. So I will freeze them in ice cube trays. And the thing is, I will not use the same ice cube tray to, that I would use for like water with bone broth and stuff because it doesn't, I'm just taking the label, you know I am with these things. It doesn't, um, it, you can't always get all the oil and stuff out. But, so here's a fun fact. I bought some bone broth the other day. I've been attempting to convince Wellington that he needs, Wellington, my cat, sorry, I'm cleaning up the mess over here, that he needs to eat more, right? Wellington needs to eat more and he does, drink, he does a really good job of drinking the water. He does not do a very good job of eating. So I bought at Aldi a box of chicken bone broth. They do like chicken, but both of them do. I'm trying to cut this off. Hold on one second. Okay, I cut it. Um, I was trying to get him to drink a little more and I also was reading up on the benefits of bone broth. I know it's beneficial for humans and I wanted to check if it was also beneficial for pets and it is. So I bought, you know, a box and I was like, oh, I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to get get him to drink of this. I tried putting it in a bowl and he wouldn't touch it, but Alex did. So I'm like, okay, well in the morning and the night when I feed them, I mix water in with their wet food. He, Wellington likes his a little more soupy 
and Alex doesn't do a good job of drinking water, so I make them soupy. But I've been putting the bone broth in it, and uh, Wellington has been eating it up. He has been loving it. So, um, I think it's good in the fridge for a week after you open it. I'm gonna have to kind of research that. So, any leftover, I'll open one, like I opened one on Tuesday. Any leftovers on Tuesday, I'll just throw away, and then I'll buy a new box to um, feed them. But he's loving it. And I feel like he is eating a little more, which makes me happy. Oh, I also got true lemon. I have a problem, guys. But this is not, I don't know if you've ever seen this. It is not um, like drink. It is, but it's not. There's no sweetener. It's literally crystallized lemon juice. You can bake with this. You can drink it. You can put it in your tea. You can put it in water. You can do whatever you want. There's nothing in here but crystallized lemon juice and a little citric acid to keep it fresh. So it's just pure lemon. They have lime, they have all different ones, but I like this one. And you get 12 packets for $1.25 and I use these fairly regularly. So I grabbed that. Um, I picked up some toothpaste. Um, I'm out of my travel tube. And this is only, um, 2.1 ounces so technically you can bring this on the airplane if you were going to fly on a trip you can bring this tube it's a little large i wouldn't bring this size because it also has some weight to it but you can uh the next trip i'm going on i'm driving my car so i'm taking that with me and i was out of my travel and then i've been stocking up again on meat sticks i love these uh tillamook meat sticks these are uh, smoked sausage. I don't think these are the zero sugar. I don't, also don't think they have a lot of sugar in them, the regular. But um, I buy like three or four at a time and I just stock up on them. They're great for me to have when I'm traveling, when I'm out and about, I'll be biking soon. The weather is turning, so I'll be able to get on my bike. So that's good. Um, I picked up for Sarah and I, these are not Dollar Tree brand. They are GRX Comfort Fit Performance Ladies Workwear, all season, flexible, full hand. So um, I got us a size medium and I put them on before I bought them. And I'm gonna show you, these are great. I probably would want a large, if I found them, I would rebuy them in a large just cause this is a little tight. It's not terrible, but when I'm doing yard work and stuff, do you see the dark purple? The dark purple is like rubber, and then that's just stretchy on the light purple side. So when we're doing yard work or anything, I don't really do yard work, but I do planting. Sarah has a yard and she has yard work to do. So I got her the gloves and I got these for me. So when I'm transplanting pots and stuff, cause you know, your hands get sore. So like I said, these are a medium. If I find a large, I'll grab a pair, but if not, the medium is fine for me. I don't wear them that frequently, but they're nice to have, especially if your hands are cold, like in the winter, fall, spring, and you're outside trying to move things. Ugh, it hurts. It hurts. Um, okay. Speaking of travel. So I picked up these. These are facial mask sponge right? They're in the beauty section, but quite frankly, it's just a sponge. There's no, there's nothing on it. It's just a kitchen sponge, right? I'm taking this with me when I travel to the hotel to wash out my coffee cup. This is like the perfect size. It's not thick. It doesn't take up a lot of space. You know, when I fly with one, yeah, probably am going to fly with one. I'll leave one for my airplane bag because I always keep a coffee, travel coffee cup with me and a water bottle. And I have um, Dr. Bronner's liquid soap. I have a small little container of that. And this is perfect. Takes up zero room. It weighs nothing. But you know, when you want, I use cream in my coffee, so I wanna be able to clean my coffee cup every day. And this is perfect. I have seen little tiny sponges that are like little squares, but I have not seen them recently. Also, I'm on the hunt for a little tiny palm olive bottle. I have purchased before for camping. And I was like, oh, I need one of those. Again, I don't know what I do with the bottle. Who knows, who knows? Um, I grabbed a pack of these. 
It is, they're just the plastic envelopes with the little snappy snap on them. Um, I love these for patterns and just storing like documents, especially if I'm traveling overseas. This is great. Um, like what I could do with this size is put a copy of my passport, a printout of all my travel documents, my driver's license, fold it up and slip this in my luggage. Do the same in a large, you know, the large envelope and give it to Sarah. So when I'm traveling, she has a copy of all my documents and I have a copy in case my purse is stolen, my driver's license, my passport goes missing, credit cards. I mean, that's all the stuff you're gonna need to put your fingers on real quick. So I always try to keep a copy in my luggage and a copy at somebody back home. So that's most likely what this will be used for. Um, maybe, but that's a good use of something like that. Right. Um, I picked up these socks for my brother. He is diabetic and he's a boy and they just don't care about nice things, I think. So <laughs> I grab on these when I see them. Um, they're nice for him. He can, he wears black socks when we work. They're not terrible. I mean, I wouldn't wear them because they feel rough, but he likes them. So he asked me to get him some more. They are a men's size six to 12. The reason he likes them is they are wide and they also are not tight around his ankle. So he does have diabetes and this is helpful for him. So I grabbed three pair. He doesn't get a long lasting wear out of them, you know, but enough, enough that he enjoys having them. Okay, um, oh, more drink stuff. I got some lemon or some lime um, to put a few drops in some water as well. Sometimes um, I like a little citrus action with one of my um, drink mixes and this just kind of gives it a little, takes away a little bit of that sweetness so I can either use real lemon, real lime or some of this. I would prefer this, but this is also 100% but it has to stay in the refrigerator when I open it, I think, and this does not. This is natural strength with added ingredients. So the ingredients are water, lime juice concentrate, and there's a little bit of lime oil and then some preservatives. So it's not bad. Best by September of 23. And it says on the back 100% lemon juice. On the front it says 100% lime juice. So you figure it out, but we've all seen these. They're nice to have for some seasonings and stuff. Um, I found in the craft section some pink gingham washi tape, which I think is super fun. So I grabbed some of that. I haven't been doing a lot of planning in my planner. I've just been really, it's the cat. I've been really busy with life. So just trying to, you know, keep it real here, guys. Keep it real. Um, I grabbed some of these canvas. They're really great for um, cross stitch if I want to stretch them around a canvas and use them in a frame because these are a four by six so they will go into a four by six frame so I do a little project I lace it across the back this slides right in and it's perfect you can also use the um, the meat the glass to a frame to get the same effect but I also thought this would be fun for an ornament like stretch it across and then hang it I'm not sure, but it was a good size and you get a three pack. Also, you can just paint on them. Okay, we got a couple other little things and that is it. Um, I got this bowl. I am headed to Canada for a cross stitching retreat. If you're there, say hi to me. Thursday night, I'll be there the May weekend. I'm gonna be in the lobby and I'm bringing some Buckeyes that I got at Anthony Thomas. So I'm gonna fill this with Buckeyes and then I'm bringing some Girl Scout cookies. Some of them have some allergens that they asked for us not to bring into the space, but I did ask if it would be okay if I, um, if I had them in the lobby the night before and that's perfectly fine. So we're going to do that. And so if you're from Canada and you haven't tried Girl Scout cookies, I'm bringing some for everybody to try. And then the last thing I got were these baskets and I think these are adorable. They're just little rope baskets, but it's made with um, like raffia, it's not rope, but it, they came in three different colors. I mean, these will be perfect if you're doing, oh, I have one other thing. If you're doing a Mother's Day basket, 
because I got this in the Mother's Day section. You could do just a small little gift basket. These are um, iPod, hot, cold eye, under eye, far puffy eyes. I grabbed those. Um, and, but these are great jewelry you can put in there. You can just set it out. You can put a potted plant in it. I just think they're cute. And I really feel like I'll get a, like, a lot of use out of them. So I grabbed a three pack. And that is everything that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I hope you enjoy, and I hope they start getting some more stuff in. It's been kind of a struggle, but that's okay. I'm gonna go finish getting ready for Easter. I hope you had a fantastic Easter. You'll see this on Wednesday, and I will talk with you soon. Bye.